I'm Dick Hutto, professor in biology and wildlife biology. I've uh, been at the university for about 35 years, taught ornithology, ecology, field ecology. My research in the past involved the ecology of migratory songbirds that breed here in Montana and winter south in Mexico, trying to figure out the effect of, uh, of tropical deforestation on migratory birds. Uh, more recently, the last 10 years or 20 years, I've been really interested in forest fires because it turns out that a lot of birds love burned up forests. Some like it really hot where it's been burned very severely, others sort of medium, the Goldilocks birds, you know, like a western tanager. But there's one bird in particular called the black-backed woodpecker, and that woodpecker is almost restricted in its distribution to burned forests. You can, you can hardly find it anywhere else. What's impressive about a black-backed woodpecker is its black coloration. Its, its back is totally dark. And if you look at one against a blackened tree trunk, it's as impressive as looking at a white-tailed ptarmigan against snow. It reflects a long evolutionary history with its environmental backdrop. And what they do is go in there and eat beetle larvae, because the trees are now dead, so the beetles have a heyday and the populations start exploding. And then the birds chow down on the beetles, and for about six, seven, eight years, it's just heaven. And then they find a new burn to colonize. The wildlife program at UM is unique nationwide. And so what you get is this great marriage of faculty and graduate students who really are looking at applied questions but have a very solid foundation in, in the biological underpinnings of what's going on. And so we train students that are really well prepared to use creative and innovative techniques to answer some of the more pressing questions that we have in wildlife today.